How you feel? Great. I feel great. Blessed. Blessed and highly favored. <laughs> How did the shoulder feel immediately after the game? Was it about what you expected, better or worse? Yeah, it held up. I'm a little sore, but that was to be expected. Um, you know, but it held up throughout the game, so um, it's all good. I think you said at one point it was just a, man a matter of playing through pain management. Is that still the case the next couple weeks? Um, yeah, for sure. You know, it's not going to completely go away. You know, I ain't going to be 100%, but um, yeah, it's a position right now. We got we to win, so. Did you get the feeling that they weren't going to throw too much at you too soon coming off the uh, injury, or, or did you maybe think you could get more carries, more touches? Oh, no, we talked about it. We talked about it being uh, spread out. Um, you know, um, it felt good out there, um, but just trying to execute, you know, the plays that were called. How about this week? You ready for maybe more? What do you if that's how if that's how the game goes, you know, I'll be ready for whatever. Um, I'll make you know, decision. I just execute the plays that they call. Jets have been pretty good up front, second in the NFL rushing yards against. What has allowed them to be so successful in that department? Uh, you know, just a fa fast group on defense. Um, Got a lot of good players up front that get penetration. Um, you know, secondary is good. Jamal Adams has been playing really, really good for him. Um, so it'll be a tough challenge for us. Excited about it, though. You still close with Le'Veon? Yeah, yeah. Talk close. often. You talked it all this week. Uh, no, nah, we, we, we got to win this game. Um, you know, leaving the kind of emotions out of it. Um, you know, it's a friend, but, you know, we don't need to, really nothing to say. As a player, what did you learn from him the time you guys had together? A lot of things, just how to be a professional. You know, he's um, approached his work every day. Um, as a professional, he, uh, you know, always came to work and always did all the little things right to make the big things go. So I definitely learned a lot from him. On Sunday, your first run was a pretty long one. After you have that, do you feel like you could settle in more in the game? Was it important to have a big burst off the off the top? Um, you know, anytime we get a good good run like that, you know, it's, it's necessary, and we, you know, it helps. Um, but I've been working the whole time, you know, when I was rehabbing my shoulder, you know, so I didn't feel rusty, nothing out there, so I felt good. Given that you had the big burst right out the top, were you surprised that you guys didn't run the ball more on Sunday? Um, you know, if I was surprised or not, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, like I said, I just executed the plays that were called. Uh, Juju, feel like you can play this week? No, I don't feel 100%, but I'm going to see what I can do. So you are going to try to play? I don't know yet. We'll see. This is what Coach says. How did it feel to get out there and actually practice, be with the guys, go full strength? It feels great. You know, it's been a while. Um, I feel like I'm my, my usual self. You know, being out there, being around football uh, means a lot. Uh, just for myself, you know, because, you know, when I'm not around football, I tend to, you know, lose my mind. But when I'm out there with the boys, you know, running routes, catching balls, uh, it feels great. Last week it sounded like after practice Wednesdays when your knee kind of started to act up again. How did it feel this week? How did it react after some of the early practices this week? Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's coming along, you know, it's a process taking it slow. The knee's kind of tricky, you know, you, you don't really know your full goal until you, uh, you run your full speed and when you're getting hit, when you're getting tackled. So, uh, you know, hopefully I'm able to go this week and play. What has to happen between now and Sunday for you to be able to play? Uh, don't go out, don't go out party, don't go out dancing, just stay home and just make sure my knee's good. Juju, even if you're not 100%, is there anything that could affect your knee at all? Uh, no, not, not necessarily. Um, it's just, I think at the end of the day, when it comes down to me playing this weekend, is it, it's a mental game, you know, how, how, how strong can I tolerate the pain? Uh, but it's just a process that, you know, I got to take slow and, you know, hope that I'm able to go this week and, you know, play with my boys. So it's basically just like a pain thing for you to manage? Yeah, yeah. Um, how much do you think you can help this team? I mean, I, I think, I, I, think I, can, I can do, a, you know, a lot for this team. Obviously, um, you know, also just being a leader, being out there, being a role model for those guys. You know, we have a young receiver group. Um, but more so just being out there and, you know, making plays, you know, uh, being able to go out there and, you know, make those contested catches, you know, uh, do what I usually do. Do you feel like this offense needs a little spark like that? Uh, I mean, I mean, we got guys who's been doing it. We, you know, we got James Conner, uh, I mean, uh, we got James Conner, we got James Washington, Deontay Johnson. Like they've been doing, you know, they've been making sparks, you know, throughout this whole time, you know, my, my time not being there. 
um, I think I'd just be another asset to help with the team. How have you seen Duck respond this week in practice after the last game that was kind of rough? I mean, it, I mean, it happens, you know. Uh, you know, Duck, you know, as a team, you know, we, we had a tough loss uh, before, you know, for himself. You, you could tell he kept the same confidence, you know, he came to practice, got the job done. You know, we worked on our plays, and, you know, it, it feels good to be out there with him. Huh? Were you full today? Yeah, yeah, I was full. Uh, what have you seen from the, you guys called up Darvo from the practice squad this week? What sticks out about him? Uh, man, he's a big size body, body guy. He can play inside and outside. I noticed that you know he's playing uh, F2 um, inside, and he's a guy you know that he has great hands. Um, I used to watch him when he was at Michigan, so it's pretty cool. In terms of the cold weather, does that impact your knee at all, or just in terms of rehab and knowing this is an outdoor game uh, in the cold? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, we, we, we've been outside warming up, and you know, it's all about you know just getting the knee warmed up and getting ready for the game. Four games off. Does that do anything? Like, will that affect you at all? Cardio, for sure, for sure, cardio. That's one thing. That's like when you when you don't run for four weeks, and you know, the past like ten weeks, you've been running super, super hard and fast. Uh, that's like the toughest part that I probably got to deal with. Is that one of the reasons it was important to do that kind of cardio warm up before last week's game? I know you didn't play, but you were out on the field. Yeah, yeah, just getting you know my breather up and uh, the atmosphere of being in the stadium. Uh, you know, hopefully we don't have, we're not we're not in a situation to do two minutes and you know we're up. Dude, do you like the fact that you guys control your own destiny right now? I mean, when you're in. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I would say like the past uh, year. Uh, I mean, last year, you know, we didn't control it. You know, we kind of debated on the, uh, the Browns and uh, the Ravens games last year, you know, for, you know, to control our destiny. But for us, it's like, you know, we can win our, our two games, went out, and, you know, we have opportunity at the playoffs.